Sheridan? Are you okay? <laughs> I did it. <laughs> you murdered my father. <laughs> seen him before I told you no you could have made him run off the way you did with me what secret does he know about me oh oh Maybe he's trying to say something Orville what is it what is oh, it it's you um I have to insist that everyone step outside well, wait wait above all Trying to say something. He must remain calm, please. Wait, 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 it's okay. Wait, just, My mom will take care of you. Wait. Thank you. Outside. Don't. I. I. Don't kill me. I won't tell. I won't tell. He's still unconscious. Sorry, Chad. Oh, man, I can't believe this. The old guy says he knew me as a baby, just when he's about to tell me about my past. Listen, Chad. When do you think he'll come to, Dr. Russell? I really couldn't say, so maybe you should leave. No, no way. I'm gonna be right here when he, that old guy wakes up. He's gonna tell me about my past, and I ain't going nowhere until he does. Me too. I want to hear what Orville has to say. Oh, no, you will not. Are you sure you don't mind my sleeping this close by? No, of course not. It's, it's warmer by the fire. Yeah, I'm sorry about the heat and the power going out. It's not your fault. It was a storm. I just don't want you to be uncomfortable. Uncomfortable? Yeah, what I did when you arrived. Don't worry. I won't be uncomfortable. Well, good. I can't believe my father sent you all the way up here just to get me to sign some papers. Well, he did say they were urgent. Yeah, but now you're stuck here because of this snowstorm. I'm sorry. What? I, I don't mind. I'm, um, I'm sorry. Oh, forget it. Remember the last time this happened? When you fell down the stairs of the house? Yeah. It seems like every time this happens, Gwen always sees it. But at least this time we know Gwen is around. Word is the snow plows are working full speed. Oh, when do you think I can leave? Oh, it shouldn't be much longer now, miss. You'll be up at your boyfriend's cabin in no time. Oh, Ethan is gonna be so surprised. <laughs> <clears throat> Where are we going? We're taking you to the hospital. 
You rescued me. That's the second time Miguel saved you from a fire. I know, I, I remember. You remember Miguel saving you from the fire at your house? This must mean you're getting your memory back. Miguel, you should have that burn checked out at the hospital. Miguel, you can probably put her down now. I mean, I'm sure she can walk. Kay's right. No, I'm not letting you go. Not until we get to the mm -hmm. hospital. Oh, all right. We all set? Everyone accounted for? Uh, where's Jessica? Oh, I, I sent her to check on the shop. Valar took her. I know she wanted to get home. All right. Well, you go on ahead, Grace. I'm going to stick around. I'm going to try to figure out what caused the fire. Well, I'm going to stick around, too, and check out my cop brother and at show. Hey, Hank, you seen Tabitha around? Uh, not since Charity came, too. I yeah, just wonder where she could be, that's all. This is the end of you, Tabitha. What do you want, you little... The end has come for you and your wicked ways. You will never be able to harm Charity. Ha! That's what you think. I would hold the hand of the one who could leave the places And kiss the lips of the one who could sing so sweet Snowplow slowed down when they hit some deep drifts, but they're back on track. Oh, thank God. We should be on the road any minute. Oh, great. I can't wait to see Ethan and have him wrap his arms around me. I'll wrap my arms around him. Sounds nice. Well, it will be nice. He probably don't think you're going to make it in this storm. <laughs> no, he's going to be so surprised. <laughs> when I, are you sure you want to barge on in there unannounced? Well, what does that mean? Well, uh... <laughs> Uh, what if your boyfriend's with another girl? Oh, not my Ethan. No way. <laughs> Gwen would be very upset if she knew you were here. Yes. I'd do anything for her. The last thing I want for her is to be unhappy. I mean, I just want her to feel totally secure in our relationship. Yes, of course. I'm uh, better fix my bed. Look, Teresa, I want to apologize to you again for what I did when you first came here. It's all right, Ethan. No, but it must have been weird having some guy grab you in the dark and start kissing you. Wait a second. What? Something's not right. Ooh, talk to me, Sam. Looks as though the fire was started underneath the stage. What would make it start there? Maybe the question shouldn't be what, but who. Now you listen to me, my heavenly little imp, and listen good. Not you or an entire celestial army can stop me killing Charity Standish. You haven't changed, Tabitha. Never have, never will. You still don't understand that he has the power. Huh. You think that frightens me? Well, I'm not frightened a wink, not a pint. 
Not a dram. Well, she's scaring the hell out of Jimmy. After I'm through with her, Charity Standish will no longer be standing. She'll be a goner. No matter what the man upstairs thinks. It's time. What? What do you want to tell me, Sheridan? It was dark, so dark. I was so frightened. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to do it. Yes, you did. You did. No, no, no! Louise! What are you doing in here? How did you get in here? I heard here? you. You broke down the door to get in here? You were screaming. I thought you might have been in some kind of danger. I couldn't get in. I didn't know what was going on, so I... Oh. Look, you were having some kind of dream. You were talking in your sleep. About what? You know, on some night when you were a little girl. What did I say? Well, I... I couldn't really make it out. I'm so scattered. I I've been told I talk in my sleep. It it's nothing. It's just meaningless. Well, I'm not so sure about that. From what you talked about that night, it sounded like, like something really terrible happened. Nothing happened. You know, it seems like you're holding on to something inside you. What happened that night when you were a little girl? It must have been pretty awful if you're still having nightmares about it. Wait a minute. What? Something's not right here. Something's missing. What do you mean? Well, here we are snowed in. We've had a great dinner, a roaring fire, and we've had the works, right? Right. Yet there is one essential element that is missing from our snowbound experience. What's that? Marshmallows. You like marshmallows? Only a fool wouldn't like marshmallows. Do we have any? Tons. Well, why didn't you say something? I didn't remember until now. Oh, boy, did you luck out. You just happened to be snowbound with the best marshmallow toaster in Harmony, hands down. Wait, 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 wait where are you going? How to get them? Where else? Well, uh, you may be a good toaster. But I do something special to them. Well, I have something special I do to them, too. Well, I'm fairly certain that my method is superior than yours, so if you excuse me. Oh, superior? You wish. Oh, no. I don't wish. I know. Well, if you knew, then you'd agree that nothing is better than super-duper covered, covered with, with powdered, powdered cocoa. How did you... You know super-duper? You know super-duper? Pilar. Oh, Mama. <laughs> she made them for you, too? Every Christmas holiday, as far back as I can remember. Oh, I remember those winter days. Uh, coming in from the cold, she'd have them ready on a stick right for the fire. Oh, I could eat a dozen of them. Two dozen. Easy. Two. Oh, isn't this weird how we haven't met until now? I mean, Pilar's worked for my family so long, she's like a second mother to me. And... I feel this links us somehow, don't you? Yes. I don't know. Like, we're pretty close, even though, you know, we're still getting to know each other. Right. Do you believe in fate, Ethan? Uh, I don't know. I never really thought about it, I guess. I don't really believe in those horoscopes, things like that, though. Well, you've never had your fortune told? No. Uh -uh. Have you? Yes. I just have to know, what's my married last name? Well, I think it... it's a... a C. Crane! It must be Crane! I've had my fortune told. Well, do you believe it will come true? 
I do. What is it? Oh, um, what's what? What's your fortune? Mom. Chad, would you excuse us for a moment, please? No problem. Okay, Mom, I know. You don't want us hanging around with Chad. You're right, I don't. Okay, we get that. But why don't you want us to stay and find out what Orville has to say? Whitney, this is not about Orville. This is about Simone disobeying me. I thought I told you to stay away from Chad. I know, I... But then what are you doing with him? He is a bad influence, Simone. I don't want to have to explain this to you again. If I say you don't hang around him, you don't. Got it? And if you do hang around him, I'll ground you for six months. Six months? Are you kidding me? Try me. And you, Whitney. I would have thought of all people, you would have been more level-headed. Your lack of judgment just appalls me. Ew. Ew. Dr. Russell. What is it? Did you wake up? No, no, not yet. But he was calling for you. He said your first name. Eve. What? I thought you said you didn't know Orville, Dr. Russell. Excuse me. I'm sorry, Dr. Russell. I'm sorry. It's Charity Standish. They brought her in. She's suffering from smoke inhalation. Good God. What happened? There was a fire while we were rehearsing the school pageant. A fire? Charity plays the part of a witch. Somehow the stake she was tied to caught fire. Get a room ready for Charity, okay. and uh, I think another one for Miguel. Uh, no. I'm not leaving her, Dr. Russell. I don't think that's such a good idea, Miguel. I mean, Dr. Russell wants you both to have the best care. Very well. You'll both use the same room. Come on. God, I hope she'll be okay. I'm sure she'll be okay, Grace. Okay. What? You set Charity on fire? So you think this was arson, Sam? Well, I'm definitely not counting it out. But why? I mean, who would want to hurt Charity? I don't know. I got a really bad feeling about this, Hank. Well, we knew everyone that was here tonight, right? So you actually think that one of our friends could possibly be responsible for this? I didn't say that. I just feel that something's not right here. I mean, how could Kay's torch start this fire? I mean, there's no way. And why didn't any of the fire extinguishers work? All right, so we'll take a look under the stage. I mean, maybe a wire got caught when they were putting in the sets. That could be how the fire started. Yeah. I mean, there's got to be a reasonable explanation for this. There has to be. I had hoped you'd listen to reason, Tabitha. Bat chance. And there's only one thing left to do. And what would that be? Something that will teach you a lesson you need to be taught. Oh, you're going to teach me a lesson, are you? Sharon, what happened that night that you still have nightmares about? Look, Luis, I know your thirst for solving problems is insatiable, but it was just a bad nightmare. I've been having them since I was a little girl. I mean, haven't you ever had a dream that was so vivid it seemed real? Well, sure, but not like that. It was so intense. It was, it was almost violent. 
I've always had a vivid imagination. I'm probably just being in a strange place, in a strange bed. There are lots of things that could factor in. No, you know what? I told you not to come here. I mean, it's your fault that you're sleeping in a strange bed. Look, let's just try and get some sleep for tomorrow, okay? Right. We'll go back to the auto body shop in the morning. Questions about my father should be answered once and for all. Peaceful dreams, okay? Thanks. Peaceful dreams, right. I can't sleep now. Did I kill Louise's father? Did I kill Martin Fitzgerald? So what fortune are you convinced is going to come true, Teresa? <laughs> it, it's bad luck to tell. Can I guess? But let me see. It has something to do with love. Oh. Romance? <sighs> Maybe. <laughs> I can tell by that look in your eyes it has something to do with the man. The man you have a crush on? Well, how did you guess? The great and powerful Ethan knows all and sees all. I am very impressed. Wait. I'm seeing something else. What is it? Your fortune will come true. Really? I swear it. How can you be sure? Please. You're talking to the great and powerful Ethan here. I'm not some run-of-the-mill soothsayer. What else do you see, oh great one? That you will make him love you. Do you really mean that? Absolutely. How can you be sure? Can any man resist you if you're in love with him? I mean, sooner or later, Cupid's arrow is going to hit him, and he won't believe how blind he's been. Blind? That he didn't love you from the beginning. I can't believe how late it is. Looks like we're gonna have to take a rain check on Super Dupers. Well, we can have them in the morning. I'm afraid not. I mean, we've gotta get you out of here first thing. I mean, I can't take the chance of Gwen finding out that you spent the night. I mean, I don't wanna get her upset. You shouldn't. Pleasant dreams, Teresa. your boyfriends now. You'll be there in no time. Oh, great. Thank you so much for all of your help. You just have a good time up there, okay? I will. <laughs> oh, Ethan is going to be so surprised when I crawl into bed with him. Well, it definitely started under the stage. And now we have to find out why. I tell you, Hank, I've got, I've got this gut feeling. I think you just have a thing about fires, you know, ever since you rescued Grace from that fire in Boston years ago. Right. And now that Charity's been involved in two fires in the last two months. All right, let's think about who was here tonight. Why not? TC and the girls. Yeah, but the girls wouldn't hurt their cousin. Huh. Tabitha. That sweet old lady? Wait a minute. Yes, that's it. It was Tabitha, and her doll is a pyrotechnical arsonist. <laughs> Look, I know it sounds crazy. Well, it is crazy. Why would Tabitha want an innocent young girl to die? Put down the down! Jimmy's scared! I'm sorry, Timmy, but she has to be taught a lesson. I've warned you for the last time, Tabitha. If you try to harm Charity, you will be punished. Oh. Princess, are you all right? 
I'm gonna go over to the hospital. Timmy, Timmy, hide, hide. I'm gonna go check on Charity. You wanna go with me? Yeah. Time to pack it in, Princess. Timmy's had enough. I'll never give up. Charity must be destroyed. Timmy, no, If we don't finish her off, then she'll come into her full powers and she'll destroy me. <sighs> but if Tabitha doesn't have her powers, she's all washed up. Don't bet on it. We're going to the hospital right now and we're going to find out just what our precious Charity remembers. <sighs> How are they? Well, waiting for a few tests to come back, but it doesn't look serious. Oh, thank God. You know, I wish I could stay and talk some more, but I've got another patient. Of course. Eve. Eve Russell. So Oral does know you. Sweetheart, do you know this old gentleman? Charity, convince me you didn't. I didn't start the fire, Simone. Okay. And I have bigger problems than you thinking I'm an arsonist. Like what? Like the fact that Charity remembered Miguel saved her from a fire before. And what else has come back to her? Charity remembers how close she and Miguel were before that fire. I might never get him to fall in love with me. Martin Fitzgerald working at the auto shop. It's using Luis's father's social security number. If that is Luis's father, then I have to get to him before Luis does. I'm gonna go back to the auto shop and see if anyone's around. Sheridan? Sheridan! She gone this time of night. Damn. Teresa, I love you more than anything in the world. Oh, Ethan. <sighs> Be my wife. Teresa, will you marry me? Yes. Yes, Ethan. A thousand times. Yes. Shock of your life, my love. <laughs> How does he know you, honey? I have no idea. He must have seen my name tag when I was treating him. Yeah. Dr. Russell, I... they finished dressing Miguel's burn and Charity's tests have come back. I'll be right there. I think we should give this man some rest. Wait a minute, Eve. Is he the hit and run victim? Yes. Then why is Chad and Whitney doing it? I'll tell you as we go. You're gonna have to leave. Eve Russell. Well, sweetheart, you must have made some kind of impression on him. Your mother's crazy about me. Well, there seems to be something about you that's created a lot of tension in my family. <sighs> my sister seems determined to take you under her wing, even though my mother told her. Now, to hang out with me, yeah, I know. You got it. Can I ask you a question, Whitney? 
What's keeping you here in all this? Pardon me? Why are you here? I mean, how come you still hanging out with me when your mom's all flipped out about it? Hey, I don't want you hanging out with my sister either. It's better that I deal with you. <laughs> What's you worried about? Besides, I ain't gonna hurt her. And I'm supposed to believe that? Hey, you can believe whatever you want. I mean, nothing else you've said about yourself has turned out to be true. I mean, where you were born. I told you, I wasn't lying about that, okay? My parents made me believe I was born in L.A. <laughs> but Orville recognized your name. And when he saw that you had the same birthmark he remembered seeing when you were a baby, it means that you were born here, in Harmony. You really got it all down, don't you? I can only imagine what other lies your family has told you. Or what lies you're telling me. You know, you're such a trusting person, Whitney. I mean, it's a real appealing quality, you know? And why should I trust you? I mean, that's probably exactly what my mother's thinking, too. Oh, right, right. She's the one who can't trust me. You see, we are a very tight-knit family. We don't lie to each other, unlike your family. Oh, what do you know about my family? All I know is that the Russells do not keep secrets. Everybody's got secrets. <laughs> I'm gonna go back inside, away from the wake up. You wanna come? Keep an eye on me. Hey, hey, how is she? Uh, Eve just went back into her room to check on her, but I, I think she's okay. <sighs> Tabitha, I'm sorry to bother you, but would you mind answering a few questions regarding the fire? Questions? Yeah, Hank and I took a look under the stage, and I just want to know if there's anything you'd like to tell me. that's working here, Louise's father, or is it just someone who stole his social security number? I hope to God that it is Louise's father. If it isn't, then that means... That... My God. It means that I killed the real Martin Fitzgerald. Excuse us a minute. Sam, what are you doing? I just want to question her. Well, you're obviously scaring the poor old woman. I mean, why do you want to question Tabitha? Look, I don't know. I just have a feeling. About what? I mean, she obviously didn't start the fire. Look, maybe she saw something she didn't realize was very important. That was close, Tabitha. They can't pin anything on me. I'm here to see the charity's all right. They can't prove I set the fire. Sam, the fire was an accident. I mean, and Tabitha didn't have anything to do with it. She's just a harmless old woman. Look, I don't know why I feel suspicious of her. I'm trying to figure this whole thing out. Look, I understand. Charity's part of our family now, and we're just trying to protect her like you do me and the kids. I've got something to tell you. Tell me. Listen carefully. I know a secret. What is it? 
If you continue to search for your past, you'll die. Thanks. Charity. Hey, how you doing, kiddo? Oh, I'm fine. What do you remember? Not everything, but I remember being in harmony with Miguel. Oh, that's great, sweetheart. I'm sure mm -hmm. you get all your memory back in no time. Uh oh. Do you see? Have you seen Whitney and Simone? Yeah, they just went to the old man's room with Chad. Well, do you remember anything else? I remember the fire and the voices there. It's good that you remember things. <laughs> and I'm gonna get you! I won't let you hurt Charity! It's terrific you're getting memory flashes. I mean, it's an excellent sign. Don't you think so, Tabitha? Uh, uh, I'll say, very promising. Well, I'm sure now I'm going to start remembering more about all of you. You too, Tabitha. Much more about you. What are you doing here, Sheridan? I, I couldn't sleep, and I didn't want to wake you. So you went out for a stroll and just happened to end up at the body shop. Surprise, surprise. There's someone in there. Hey! It's locked. Well, I can get this baby open easy. It's not going to stop me. It's time for me to get the answers I want. Nothing is going to stop me. Yes, Ethan. Yes. <laughs>